Now I pulled this battery charger off a little early and I misspoke and I said 48 amp hour is 100% max health for a group 65 battery and it's really not. Um, after going back and looking to do a little research, I was a little off. It said depending on where you get your information, it was saying that 56 amp hour to 69 amp hour or something like that is 100% max health. But it wasn't done either. If you look at the scale on the battery charger in the video when this video starts, you can see that I was at 48.9 and then it creeped up to 49 amp hour. So I could have and I will go back and actually put this tester uh, or this charger rejuvenator back on this Group 65 battery to see if it will continue climbing and let it run through a full 24 hour cycle and see what happens. See if I can even get close to the whole 56 to 69 amp hour for a group 65 850 uh cold cranking amp battery it's supposed to be like eight or your cold cranking amps divided by 7.25 and then something else is factored i just watch the video it's a great this is a this this is a phenomenal battery restorer and stay th straight stay through to the second battery which was a flop because it had a bad cell and then the third battery which was a dead uh big truck international box truck battery uh that actually is charging it's currently on the charger right now and it's still charging and you'll see the video so this here is a battery that is from march of 2019 This battery has been in a garage um, this is set up for a long time and stuck it in this car it wouldn't revive when picked it up at the dealership uh, it wouldn't from Dundee to down down by Alsip that long drive at probably you know 65 70 mile an hour 75 mile an hour and uh some street cruising in between this battery would not come back to life uh, the vehicle would barely even turn on the lights and then i stuck it on a trickle charger and it brought it back i put it on the noco 5 genius and it brought it back but then you let it sit for like a week and then it goes dead again it doesn't stay charged and uh retest it says bad the noco brings it back again retest it says bad so as long as you started the vehicle every couple of days, uh, the battery would never die. And then I let it sit for a week after running five cycles on the NOCO. And then it would start, but it was kind of weak at the end of the week. Well, this is the Top Done Tornado 90,000. And a lot of people are kind of thrown off by the price of this unit because it's anywhere from 700 to $1,000 depending on where you get it from. The issue is, it's worth it. The reason it's worth it is because you can mitigate and change the supply of this however you want. If you want 13 volts and, and 30 amps or 40 amps while you're doing some programming and stuff, you can put it in supply mode and manually leave it there and it keeps the car charged. If you want to go up to 13 and a half volts so the computer see full operating voltage, it'll do that as well. Last night when I left, I put this on at about 3.30 and this said zero amp hour and it was at like 13 volts and it slowly was creeping up the amp hour here crept up to about six as it was going through its repair cycle and then slowly over the next few hours the guys seen the amp hours climbing up as it was going through its repair process and then now we come in the next day after it sat here overnight going through its nine sequence cycle and it's at 100 percent max health now the general battery amp hour when done, this machine has got smart technology so it can read exactly what the battery has, is uh, about 48 amp hour. That's a freshly charged, brand new battery, 48 amp hour, and this is at 48.9. So this device did its job. It's got a boost cycle, it's got a cold charge cycle with a temperature sensor that you can actually put on top of the battery so it senses the temperature and it knows when it can up regulate the charging capacity and stuff um, and it has a AGM cycle it's got normal charging 
uh, boost charging up to like 90 amps and each one of these modes can be changed to do what you want it to do but the smart technology is already built into the actual charger itself and it's a really nice unit because it does exactly what it says it's going to do and i can't guarantee that every single battery is going to be repaired but a lot of them can be repaired if you have a unit like this the issue is if you keep charging the batteries and putting them in repair mode and you're, both, you're, uh, you're busting that sulfation off the cells, it ends up collecting under the cells and after so many times, it'll start to build up and it will actually make contact with the cells and short the cells out. So you don't want to continue to do that all the time. I would say max probably two or three times of putting it in repair mode, maybe four if you're lucky, um, would be all I would actually attempt to do. But as you see here, it's still going through its repair process to try to get as much out of this battery as possible. 15.4 volts at 1.4 amps, and you see we're up to 49 amp hour now, which is just a hair above what you would typically for a, for a new battery. So it's really putting in uh, the work to get this battery back up to its natural state. And we got sports, we're making a slim part. Sorry. Slim I'm going to try uh, doing this 12 volt motorcycle battery next and see what happens. So it's sitting at 1.2 volts right now. I put it in supply because this one, this one's not even getting a complete, complete connection. So I don't think this battery's gonna work. I think inside this battery's done. Yeah, it's not getting a complete connection. The cells inside are bad. Yeah, it ain't doing nothing. It ain't even trying. I don't fucking. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can take this battery that the Schumacher has already, it said it's done, said it's good, it's, I'm going to say, charging, it's almost at 100%, or it shows the thing is full, not full, but the bars, maybe that's just what it looks like, well I'm going to take it off of here and I'm going to put it on my unit and see what it does, Yeah, I'll clean it off to see if it's got a little bit better connection. Alright, I got it hooked up and it says it's reading 12.4 volts, so I'm going to put it in repair mode. See if it can do more than what the Schumacher has already done. Let it go through its cycle and it'll give us a readout at what it's repairing the battery at. Typically when it starts this high like this, it's got some more repair to do. Or maybe it could just be that that's normally how it starts its cycle because it goes through the entire sequence. You know what I should do? No, I can't, because if one of these bad batteries I bring back from the dead, then uh, we don't get our core on it. Well, maybe we do. Actually, we probably do. Hmm. We could try that. I want to find the nastiest, nastiest looking one here. That's why I said that middle one is nasty than a motherfucker. It does. I just think this one, this little battery... We ain't going to be able to see everything from that little battery because it's been on a battery tender and I don't think that's a fair comparison. And here, yeah, see it's already starting to come up and it's only been on there 20 minutes now. So let's do the big battery. Let's see that big giant battery because it's going to revitalize this battery right here because the Schumacher is already saying that it's a good battery and it's able to charge it. And this is already showing that it actually is bringing it back. So let's go to the big one says that big one it's got 12.3 volts but if i remember right they came out of a big international box truck like a dt series or something like that so i am going to put that on here for a while and see how long it takes for it to bring it up wow that was quick that jumped up fast with that big battery it went right up to 
and this went right up to 6.0. So there's a fleet right battery. So this, this testing this one has been on since yesterday morning. I took it off this morning to show you guys on the Tornado 9000 that it was actually charging it. It's actually saying that it is taking a charge, but one day of charging on the Schumacher, real slow charge, it's sitting at about 350, 400 amps, and it's only at about 9.8 volts. So I'll put that one back on there when this one's done and show you where it's at. And this one's been on for about an hour now, and it's up to 1.0 amp hour, the big, the big battery down there, the fleet right, 15.4 volts, and it's up to 6.1 amp hour now. So it's actually bringing that battery back slowly. Well, we've been on here about five hours now. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, it's bringing it back. It's at uh, 26 amp hour now. So once it gets up to about 48, it's done. 50. So it's working. It's bringing us this battery that was completely dead back. I know some of you DIY guys, you don't have the money for this. This is not really, this video is not really for you. This is more for shop owners or people that have a plethora of vehicles. And they just can't be throwing money away when they forget to start a vehicle or something like that. And, you know, it's like 130 bucks, 140 bucks, 130 bucks, 140 bucks. I've restored this one battery two or three times already on the NOCO in multiple different sessions. Now I want to see what happens with this top done. Uh, you know, and it, 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 it turned out very well. Uh, it gave me a great uh, restore, uh, deeper than what the no code would offer. And it gave me that reading that I'm looking for. And I could have left it on there and it would have kept charging even more. But uh, I hope you guys like these type of videos. I know they're kind of annoying with all the noise and stuff in the background and stuff like that. And this is not a project farm video where I'm at home and it's controlled in my garage or my studio. This is real life, people. This happens at a shop where the noise and the shit and everything else is. And the mistakes are being made and nothing's edited out of the video. And the trolls come out to correct you every time you turn around. This is what it is. This ain't no princess, uh, uh, princess editing stuff going on here where everything's just picture perfect. It, you make mistakes sometimes, sometimes you don't. You come back, you try to catch them, you do the best you can. You lick your wounds and you move on. This Tornado 90,000 is absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of the nicest things I've ever received from somebody. And I really appreciate that. I've been working hard to start getting to a point where people see the value in me to send me stuff like this. And I'm glad that Top Dunn has done that. Top Dunn has shown time and time again that they actually care about this channel and the quality of the stuff that they're giving me to actually test. So I appreciate that. Um, so if any of you shop owners out there are in need for a battery restorer, charger, rejuvenator, and now analyzer that is just going to go above and beyond uh this is it this is the tool for you and again you can find it anywhere from 6.99 to like a thousand dollars depending on where you get it i'm going to find a link on an amazon site and post it typically you get 40 dollars off or something like that and you end up getting it at the lowest price anyway but again if you order it through amazon i have an account with them it does help the channel because i post my link through them as well as it does help top done for sending us this unit and a lot of times they give us a discount code and uh, I'm going to reach out to them to see if they will push the discount code my way. Be blessed. I love you all. We've been out here in the pool. The guys are coming over tomorrow. They're going to swim with me for a little bit while the ladies are still out of town. And we're just relaxing tonight. We're going to grab some beer and some steaks and we're going to have a great night. Y'all take care.